Hi again, this is a quick introduction to Microsoft Project. What I've done is taken the example problem from the first video where we had eight activities and imp input them here into this column in Microsoft Project with their duration and then the start date and the finish date along with the immediate predecessors. Notice that A and B have no immediate predecessor C has A as an immediate predecessor, D has B as an immediate predecessor, and so on. And what we're viewing here on the right-hand side is the Gantt chart. With, it's the connected Gantt chart and shows the precedence relationships with the arrows. There's a couple of other views in Microsoft Project that we can take a look at with, with this small project. Uh, the first one is the calendar. That's how this project would look in a calendar. We can also view a network diagram. This is the activity on the node diagram that we demonstrated in the first video. We could also view a tracking Gantt. Notice in red we've got the critical path. And also on the tracking Gantt chart we also have in red here the critical path. So we could track this project over time. If we took the time to put in the resources that we used in our budget and how much we were actually spending, we could get the earned value curves that we uh, discuss in the fifth video of this series. Microsoft Project will show you the earned value curves as well. But let's go back to the Gantt chart and if we'd like to see the slack, also known as the float, for each activity, what we can do is come down here to the table and hit schedule. And we've got this new I don't know how well you can see this, it's probably a pretty uh, small font, but it says free slack and total slack. So we've got the slack here. Of course, what we said on the first video is the activities that have zero slack are on the critical path, A, C, E, uh, G, and E. And this was activity F has six, and activity B and D both had one. The free slack is a little different. Uh, it just says as long as this slack here uh, does not get used, then we'll have that free slack there. Notice activity F had the most slack of six days. So that's the basic functionality of Microsoft Project. Of course, it does thousands of other things. An experienced project manager can, can use this and generate many reports and, and help track projects and manage projects over time.